shirt's awesome, right? It's awesome, but it's so comfy. Right? Right? Am I right? It's really good. See? It's much better. You don't mess with a classic. Just like the chair better. Mm -hmm. We'll compromise later or something. Hey guys! <laughs> Kiriyama Sparta here uh, with... Sarah! Sarah! Hey. You should get a, like a funky name like me. Sarah's pretty funky. Sarah's pretty funky, I guess. Pretty awesome. Pretty funker. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Wednesday, comic book reviews. Whoop, whoop. This is a new thing we're doing. Actually, no, we've been doing it for a while. Uh, yeah, new before Watchmen again. But <laughs> next week, we will be getting to before Watchmen, apparently. So. You said before Watchmen just then. I did. Yeah. You know, we're supposed to see new Batman. Well, that too, but... I'm just letting them know. There's people that watch those too. No. No. So we'll have those coming, but for now this week we have Death of the Family. Yes, we do. And we'll continue on with that. Um, Sarah kind of gave me a heads up for this one, so I'm expecting to be a little confused. Interesting. Interesting. It was interesting, really. <laughs> uh, we are doing uh, number 14? Yeah. Uh, Catwoman, number 14. It's her Death of the Family. Day. Actual issue, if yeah. you remember our number 13, I'll, I'll put a link, obviously. Uh, not a lot really happened in that one. Not really. That one was kind of like one of the one-pagers, which I, I've been told, Batman and Robin number 14, we didn't do it because it really has like a one-page lead It's in. the very last. I, I do read it. I did read it, but... It, Time constraints, and it didn't really have a whole lot to do with it. Yeah, it was we're like just really page, sticking with the so. death of the family thing here. and I For mean, now. I know that was a panel, but... It, for now. For now. Well, yeah. Yeah. Anywho, so you know the drill. Uh, for these ones, I haven't read them. Sarah has all the new 52s. Yeah. So she reads them to me like a story so I can I can get all into it. She's a good storyteller, right? Kind of. Kind of. When I'm not stuttering. When you're not st 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 stuttering. And messing up words. And then, well, you know, that's what I'm here for. It happens. I guess. Hey, it makes it more exciting, though. It's like English bingo or something. English bingo. <laughs> like... Yeah. Anywho. We'll figure something out. Take us away. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Catwoman number 14. I kind of had high hopes going into this one because I really did enjoy the last one. Yeah. And the art with the panels were just beautiful. Right, yeah. Really this one it. is a lot more straightforward in the panels. More, I don't want to say blocky, but, you know, more traditional than, than what like they were square, before. Square, 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 square. Yeah. And I'm not sure what I think about this one. I'm not too sure. Maybe you'll have an opinion by the end. You know. I have an opinion, it's just... Well, maybe it'll be changed, I don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it's one of those ones that needs, like, another reading or something. Yeah, that has happened before. Mm. But, um, yeah, let's just jump into it. So, the last one ended with Catwoman, I don't know, curling around the boy that she just saved out of the right. exploding chess pieces. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much where it picks up. Up. Off. Where <laughs> this is where it picks up. It's Catwoman <laughs> sitting in the ash with this boy, and Joker shows up. Right off the bat, he's standing over her. Nice. And he's just talking about how white is white gets too dirty, but black is better. Black is okay. <laughs> uh, black tends to triumph. Blah blah blah. And he's calling her a pawn, and he's you know referencing the chess pieces in this one. Mm -hmm. And then Catwoman notices that there's a ticking coming from the little boy, and <laughs> uh, you find out that the boy's actually wearing a bomb around his chest and nice. this entire little thing is Joker testing Catwoman because he knows that she's deep down a good person. Mm -hmm. She makes questionable choices and she's a thief but she's still a good person. Anti-hero. Yeah and says. she was an, an orphan herself mm -hmm. so he basically gives her the choice to let the, let, let the little boy orphan die or save him and go play with him I think is what he says or take, take her to help is what he says. Hmm. She tries acting like, oh, I don't care, you can blow him up if you want, and he calls her out on it, and she's like, fine, take me to hell, let this little boy go. <laughs> so they go to the uh, amusement park, to the hellhole ride, <laughs> and I had a hard time figuring out what was going on on this page, just because it was a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of those least fast spinny rides where you're pushed against the outside of the... Oh, by the yeah, with the ramps, yeah. Centrifugal force. Centrifugal? Centrifugal? Words. Yeah, you're not good with those. No. So anyway, it's one of those rides. Yeah. Um, Joker lets the boy go, and 
Joker is talking to Catwoman about what this ride's gonna do to her because he turned it up to max speed. <laughs> so it's gonna like he says your face will peel right off and of course her face yeah. happens to him and He's a funny guy. Yeah, he's, he's a clever joke. Clever joke. <laughs> yes. So he says bye bye, so many so many people to torture, so many so little time and mm. flips the switch and the thing turns on and it shows Catwoman's clothes Holy being shit. pulled off and her glasses like breaking and cracking and just fucking her up more or less hmm. she tries to climb out and then she's hit with the water geyser mm. so, i don't know if it's i'm assuming it's him spraying her or something i just she... need to say this real quick like in every issue of catwoman i've checked out from the new 52 she's getting naked like every issue <laughs> actually it hasn't happened much lately the okay. first three or four were bad for that but yeah. this one is the first one that you see a lot of skin in a while sorry peppy if i had to say <laughs> that's why we're here so anyway, she's drowning in this thing. All of her, well, not all of her clothes. Con the conveniently, the the, um, the, the naughty the, bits the important are covered. Bits are covered. The naughty bits but, are covered. But you know, her, yeah, she's her costume just destroyed, and she's laying in this pool of water, and she's thinking to herself while she's in this water. He steals a boy from an orphanage, ties a bond to him, tests me to see if I'll save him. Why? And then mm. she kind of passes out on the ground. Yeah. And Joker comes back. And he says, you see, you don't need a knife to skin a cat, and kisses her right on the lips. Huh. And she freaks out and, like, wipes her face off, and he's like, that's the only way you can wake up a princess is by getting a, <laughs> by a kiss by a prince. And like I said in the Batman number 14 mm -hmm. review, Joker is really focusing on the castles and king and those yeah, types of he's, motifs. Yeah, he's really using, yeah. Yeah, a lot. And this one is no exception. He uses them a lot. Game of chess. Yeah, so then he's talking about he, she needs to get a new skin. Her, her her old costume squeaked a lot. You can always hear it coming. And he gives her a new suit to put huh. on. It looks just like her old one. Okay. And he says, a perfect fit. Can I zip you up, my dear? And she just slugs him in the face. <laughs> and then starts trying to kick his ass, like curb stomping him and that kind of stuff. Yeah. All of a sudden he says, you done? And it does that. She freezes with what she's doing, which is an awkward position i'll show you yeah. and has those like shaky Speed lines, marks? Those oh, okay. shaky lines like she's know, holding herself you, back kinda? like you know when in the comics when someone's shaking they have the shaky lines oh yeah, yeah. They have the, shaky lines. the shaky lines it makes more sense if i just show you it's probably very, a real word we're not yeah very bottom if you can even see them because it would be faint and then he says um this new suit i gave you i put some rigor mortis stuff in it okay so it it's par gonna... it paralyzed her oh kind of more or less um, I painted the inside of your new skin with a special rigor mortis paint. <laughs> and then, this is actually one part I did like about it. He's talking about the entire her relationship with Batman. Okay. And how he says, I've watched you with him. He always saves you. He, you fall, he catches you again. You fall again, he catches you again. And just that kind of thing. He's more or less kind of, I guess, disgusted by it. And he's like, well, where is he now? Where is your, where is your hero now? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's just laying there. And she can't do anything about it. And he's like, where's your Batman now? 